In this lesson, we're going to be discussing brake lines. Now, you might be asking yourself, what exactly are brake lines? Well, within the Autodesk Civil 3D 2023 documentation, we have a definition here that says that brake lines are critical to creating an accurate surface model because it is the interpolation of the data, not only the data itself that determines the shape of the model. Now, Autodesk goes a little bit further in their definition by saying to use brake lines to define features such as retaining walls, curbs, tops of ridges, and streams. Brake lines force surface triangulation along the brake line, preventing triangulation across the brake line. So more or less, an example of a brake line would be, say, an edge of pavement. Say you brought in all of your points and all of your points are being triangulated, but the triangulation is not taking into account maybe the edge of pavement or the edge of a retaining wall or the edge of a ridge. You need to have kind of like a, a break line or some kind of boundary line that will force triangulation in a different way. Currently, I'm in the O3 surface-1B drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. And if I look, I've got all of these red points that I've imported into my drawing. These are all the points that have been added based off of our survey. We've got our rod. Our survey crew has used that rod to pick up all of these point elevations, all of these elevations from different features within our site. And we just have a whole huge cluster of points. If I look up into my home tab and within my layers, go ahead and click this drop down and scroll up until you get to this layer that says underscore eg dash break lines. It's a cyan layer and we're going to thaw this layer. And as you can see, we have more or less like an edge of pavement path right here. If I select this, it's currently a 3D polyline. It's not a brake line. If I select this other edge, this is also a 3D polyline. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these two lines because currently we have a surface that if we switch the style, and we turn on contours and triangles. I know there's a lot going on here, but bear with me. You can see that we have these tin lines are not triangulating and taking into account the edge of my cyan pavement. But before I get into actually adding my edge of pavement as a break line, I'm noticing that under my surfaces, I've got this yellow shield. What does that mean? It looks like there might be a break somewhere within our surface. If I go under definition, under point files, it looks like that's the culprit right there. If I select point files, I've got my text file that appears to be in a different location on my hard drive. What if I want to change that location? Well, if you go into EG, click on EG, our surface, right click, go into surface properties, then select the definition tab. And then I'm going to select this little folder icon. And I'm going to select within my exercise files folder, the EG surface space delimited. Click open, then apply. We're going to rebuild our surface. So select this first option then click OK. And that clears that yellow shield. Now that that's taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and add in my edge of pavement brake lines. I'm going to go under definition, select brake lines, and then right click and select add. For a description, I'm just going to type in EOP or edge of pavement. Click OK. And then once I've added these two cyan lines to my surface as brake lines, you'll see some new triangulation happening with my tin lines. With these white lines, they're going to take into account these cyan edge of pavement lines. So let's go ahead and select our two edge of pavement lines. Press enter. And you see how our tin lines kind of 
switched up a little bit. Now it's taking into account our edge of pavement, and now we have an accurate surface.